So some of you guys might have noticed my Supermoto build has been missing one thing from the very start, and that's one thing that you'll find on basically any other Supermoto, and that's hand guards. So today we're finally gonna fix that, and we're gonna put some really awesome red hand guards on my CRF Supermoto. So what we've got here are these Cherubee X Factory hand guards, and they're in red. And the reason that these took so long to get here is because these were actually back ordered for quite a while. So a Cherubee had to make these. So it's been, these were supposed to be here about two months ago, but they're here now and you can see they've got a nice red finish and they've got carbon, like a carbon finish. I don't think it's real carbon, but it's got a nice carbon finish right there. And uh, same thing right there. It's got a nice carbon finish. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but got a nice carbon finish and it should go well with the red accents that I have on the bike like the radiator louvers as well as the hand guards levers and the little red Honda sticker as far as I can tell installing these should be pretty easy and straightforward on just about any bike we're gonna have to I believe cut the end of the uh, this rubber grip and then there's gonna be a little bit that goes inside the tube there and then it also mounts a little bit further in over here on both sides uh, so I guess the first step, we're going to have to go ahead and cut the end of this, that way it can uh, slip into the bar. So basically, to explain this to you guys, this is how this is going to work. We're going to tighten the bolt and it's going to expand inside of the bar and that's what's going to hold it into place. So we're going to insert this. That's inserted all the way. What we're gonna do here, we're gonna tighten this down a little bit. We're not gonna crank it down just yet, but we're just gonna get it in a little bit. And then we're gonna move on to the other part. So before we can put on the other end of the bar, which you know, it would mount right here to the bar, I have a lot of street legal wiring right here. So we're gonna have to cut the zip tie in order to move some of this wiring around to make, to make room for the, uh, the brackets. And the brackets that a Cherubee supplies, they, they come with a few spacers. So depending on what size bars you have, you know, you can get these to work with basically any bike. But basically these are gonna go, you know, mount like this and then mount right there. So uh, as you can see, you're not really supposed to leave out these washers, but honestly with how thick my bars are right here, I don't think it's going to be an issue. All right, with that tightened up, we can go ahead and tighten up this end. There you go. We can see we got one side mounted on. A little bit hard to see. Sorry for the uh, the background being so overexposed there, but you can see these are all the way on. So really, these are pretty simple to install. I mean, basically just one bolt here, two bolts here that clamp onto the uh, to the bars. So the only real difference while doing the other side is that on this side we have the throttle tube to worry about, because remember, this is where your throttle side is, so we may have to move the controls inwards a little bit in order to make room, but we'll find out here in just a second once we cut the end of this off. Okay, so as you can see, we need to cut the end of the throttle tube in order for this to fit because I didn't realize that this throttle tube actually comes over the bar end. So we're gonna have to go ahead and cut that with a uh, either a knife or a razor blade or something. Okay, so as you guys can see, this wasn't exactly the right way to do it, but I was able to get this cut with a razor blade. So now we can go ahead and continue with the install. So it's gonna be the same thing. We're just gonna go ahead and tighten this down just a little bit and then uh, should be pretty pretty much good to go. Put, get the other bolt in. And we're just gonna snug this down. Not gonna crank it down super tight just yet because, well, there's no reason to. And as you can see, I'm not sure how well you can see, but throttle tube moves. It's not blocking or contacting that at all. Right, we got both sides on pretty well lined up you'll have to excuse the background for being massively blown out so yeah they're nice and aligned and uh let's go get get this thing a test ride 
All right, just took a test ride. The uh, the hand guards, obviously on a test ride, it's not gonna make much of a difference, but uh, they look great, they feel great. And what's really nice is with how often I crash on this bike, because it is a supermoto and we have a lot of shenanigans going on, it's gonna help protect the, uh, basically the grips, the levers, it's gonna protect a lot of stuff, which is really nice because I've broken a lot of stuff with how often this bike gets crashed. If you guys enjoyed the video, please smash the thumbs up button. It really helps me out and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.